Lunch, Sarah here. My first solo vid without Jake. Um, we had a super busy weekend this weekend. We had his mom's 60th surprise party. Happy birthday, Susan. It was such a great time. Um, we had 40 of her closest friends and family um, at a restaurant and just felt like we were back to normalcy. Um, it was so good to see everybody um, and celebrate Susan. So that was great. And then Sunday, we had uh, my best friend Juliana. She just graduated law school. So we had her graduation. Shout out to Juliana. Congratulations. So proud of you. I know her and her boyfriend watched this show. Um, or fiance, should I say. Not boyfriend anymore. Um, but yeah, so today, um, since we didn't get anything done this weekend, um, what we wanted to do was build a uh, vegetable garden. So. Uh, over the weekend, I bought these um, garden beds from Amazon. Um, I bought um, a four feet by two feet one and then an eight foot by two feet. I first bought the four foot one thinking I wanted like just a smaller garden and then I went to return it, but it was too late. So now I have both and I hate returning things. So I figured we would use them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, I think it they look easy to build. Um, we just kind of have to put them together like they just slide right in all you really need is a screwdriver so I figured I could do that without Jake um, I'm excited for him to come home and see that I did a little project on my own um, and then when he gets home we're gonna figure out a place to put them and we're thinking either by the patio or um, up there but we're not we're not really sure and then we're going to go get some dirt and soil um, from a local place and Put, put the soil in them and get it started. And then later this week, I'll get the vegetables. But we're thinking for vegetables, um, like tomatoes, of course, I love tomatoes. Jake hates tomatoes, but it's okay. Um, carrots, onions, um, green beans. We wanna to try to get like as much as we can. Um, that would also like save money at the grocery store. I always like to have some vegetables in our meals every night. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm first gonna do the four by two foot bed. Um, got the manual here. I think we just really slide them in. It should be good to go. Louis eating his lunch right now. Um, it's really nice out here today. It's like 82 degrees and sunny. So probably gonna work outside from here later. Um, but let's get started. I'm gonna put him on his runner first because he He's now getting a little adventurous where he likes to go in the woods and sometimes he likes to listen, sometimes he doesn't. So we like to put him on the runner. can do this um, all I had to do was slide them in uh, to the little pole things so yeah really anyone could do this um, all I have to do next is just put the little toppers on here and that I will need a screwdriver for so I'm gonna go to Jake's toolbox and find that but yeah these are awesome they were like $80 on Amazon I really don't have much experience in this, so I don't know if these are like good quality, but they have really good reviews, they like over a thousand. So we'll see. Um, so tonight me and Jake are going to find this perfect spot for these. Um, we're thinking of maybe putting them near the patio. Um, so we'll have to move this, but yeah, it's really light too. So we're gonna dig up the grass and then put this in and put the soil in and then tomorrow I'm gonna go get the vegetables. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. While I'm putting together these beds, um, we, we discovered a couple weeks ago that Louis just hates the heat. So we got him a pool. He loves it. He'll just come sit in it and swim a little. Um, we're really trying to get him acclimated to the water because um, you guys know Jake has a boat. So we want him to go on the boat with us. We're getting him a life jacket later and we want to take him as much as we can. 
Um, hope, hopefully he likes to swim. Um, we can't really tell with just like a little pool like this, but we'll see. I think we're going to bring him this week, so maybe we'll get him in the water. All right, so one bed is done. Um, this was super easy to do. It took like less than 45 minutes. Um, the only time consuming part was just like putting the screws in, but I mean, really wasn't bad if I could do it. Any of you guys could do it. Um, the one thing that I do like about this bed is that you can connect other ones to it. So the other bed we have, I'm gonna wait till Jake gets home, but I think it might look cool if we connected them. Um, I need to see if they fit and everything, but I, I assume they do because they're the same brand. So that could look cool, or if we want to put them in different spots, maybe we'll leave them separate. Um, but I don't really have time right now to put the other one together. Gotta get back to work. Um, but I'm super excited for Jake to come home later and we're gonna set this up and pick a spot for it. Uh, we want somewhere with a lot of lighting and sun. Um, we're either thinking like up there, but we do have that big tree, so can't put it in the shade at all. Or we're thinking near the patio, so we'll see um but and then we're gonna go get some mulch and everything um and some soil after this um and then we will have a garden all right so our plans changed a little yesterday due to rain um i know earlier i was saying that we were going to put the sealant on the um, the beds and then we were going to put the soil and figure out a good spot for them So we came outside we were all ready to do it and then it started thundering and lightning and we had to go in We were very disappointed. We actually did a Costco run instead. So we were productive um, But right now I'm going to attempt to put the sealant on by myself um, So we're going to be using Thompson's water seal timber oil I wanted it clear because I do like the, the light color of the beds. Um, I like that look. So I'm going to do two to three coats of this. Um, yeah, I Jake picked this out, so I'm sure it's great. Um, and then we're going to be using a paintbrush like this. And yeah, that's it. So should be easy enough. Um, it's hot out, so I'm gonna try to do like two to three coats like right away. Um, I know on the thing it says to not do it in direct sunlight, so I'm gonna try to stand in the shade. The only problem is our yard has like no shade. So yeah, and that's why Louis hates it too. Louis's dying over here. He, he needs to jump in the pool. But all right, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, our lawn there's not many areas of shade um so i'm going to be working in this tiny area right here um so i'm not directly in the sunlight and i just used one of the boxes that we got from costco and i'm going to start with the bottom like where it's going to be in the ground because that's where it rots the most so i want to make sure that we get to that first um, and do like three to four coats on there um, one thing that we are noticing about these beds is they are sliding out. We do like the other one because you actually have to screw um, them in. So we're going to eventually get screws for these probably before we put them in tomorrow um, just to make sure that these actually stay. And then I just took them apart. So I'm doing the first part first and then I'll do the other one. All right, so we're back. It took me about 10 minutes to open the timber oil. Very hard to open. I had to use like three different screwdrivers, had to call Jake, but we got it open and we got it in, put it in a little soup container and I'm gonna get to work. They said do a nice thin layer, so Going to do a thin layer and many coats. And then you, if you're going to do this, you only need to do the outside. You don't have to do the inside too because that's going to be where all the dirt and soil and stuff are. The nice 
nice thing about using clear is that you don't really have to worry about lines and stuff. This is my first step to painting. I really want to paint some of the rooms in our house, but I've never painted before, so I'm a little intimidated, but maybe this will get me ready. Once I finish the first coat, it'll be ready for the second coat for the other side. So that is a plus. Okay, so I don't know if this is the best way to do it. I don't know if this is what Jake would do, but I'm gonna paint the top again before I flip it over because I don't want to get it all over my hands. So I'm going to do the second coat on this because it is, it's, it looks pretty, I mean it's not dry but it's not like soaking wet so I think that would be fine. And then once this dries then I'll paint it, I'll turn it over and paint the other side. Jake said the more coats the better honestly, it's just like a protectant so I mean I could sit here and do four coats if I wanted. Also, like I said, I'm new to all this stuff, so if there is a better way that you would do it, put it in the comments, and then I'll learn something, everybody else will learn another way, so definitely do that. Okay, it is pretty wet, so I'm going to wait like five minutes to do the rest. But it's looking good, it's actually giving it like a little darker finish. I'm not sure if it will stay like that, but I like it. forgot to say this earlier, but don't mind the background. Uh, this is all stuff our patio guys left, and they're coming back this week to clean it up and to put another coat on the patio, so that's why it's kind of a mess, and then we don't have patio furniture on yet, so not the nicest backdrop. I think I'm going to stick with three coats. Three coats seems plenty. And it looks pretty thick, so we're good. And I'm going to flip this over. thing is it is just clear so it doesn't matter if some grass hits it it's fine and this is Louie just just watching me I got a Keep a close eye on him, make sure he doesn't go near the paint. Oh, and then that's my little work setup today. Since we don't have our patio furniture out yet, I've just been using a card table and working outside. I was also thinking about it, and I don't think I mentioned that we were going to do the sealant yesterday when I was putting them together. Uh, me and Jake were talking, and we were looking at like the thing that we bought and on the description. It just said that it was just like like finished wood. It didn't have any protectant on it and we want these beds to last like 10, 15 years. So we bought the sealant and that's definitely going to protect it now. Um, if you don't do this sealant, I was reading it, they usually last like three to five years, which isn't horrible, but if we could have a longer lifespan on these, we might as well do it for, I think a can of that stuff was like $25 maybe. I'll have to ask Jake, but wasn't expensive, so it's definitely worth it.
right guys, well I just got done with doing some stuff around the house and being at work and everything and Sarah, much to my surprise, has been working on a little video of your own. Huh? Yeah, I figured might as well join in on the fun. I live here too. <laughs> These look great. Yeah, so today we assembled them by screwing them in to the pole, little pole thing. To, to these? Yeah, to those. And it didn't take to that long, it was pretty easy. And then we um, sealed it with the, the timber the... oil um, that yeah. I showed you earlier. Yeah, it looks nice. It's nice and you know clear. You didn't want it to be stained too much. Yeah, I honestly like how it gave it like a little darker look to it. I like this bed better. That bed didn't come with any screws. You just like slide them in. So we have to buy screws for that. That you was my reinforce it a little bit. Yeah, that was my idea. So this one came with six extra screws. So I started screwing them in. Um, so we need to get more screws. But I think that will put it all together. And then we'll probably just put them next to each other. And I think we decided we're gonna put it over there. We'll show you in the next video. Once we get the soil and everything, we'll, we'll show you what it looks like in the finished product. Yeah, Sarah picked out a spot. She called me today while I was at work on a lunch break. And she said, I've been wa watching this spot on the yard. And ever since the morning, it's been full of sun. And what was it, about noon? And it still had sun, and then when I got home, it still had sun. Despite From like one to two, it didn't have sun, which was weird, but it was like kind of cloudy today. So. Well, so I think that's because it was right above this big tree. But yeah. after it passed the big tree, it was good. So I, I took a look at the spot, and I think we'll probably have to level it out a little bit, and we'll strip the topsoil and the grass. Um, and hey, if it doesn't have sun, we got a tree guy here. Yeah. We can prune the tree prune the trees to help the grass and help the garden so uh yeah these look great and for just a little amazon purchase for our first garden it was nice and especially with the cost of lumber and everything sarah talked about maybe building beds and then she found these um, this was much easier for my first project yeah so for our first garden here at the house we'll try these out and see how they work and if we like them we'll have them hopefully for years to come and we can always build our own beds in the future. Yeah, so it's a beautiful night. We're finally gonna put the patio to use. Um, yeah, we just fired up the big green egg. What are we making? We got some, what is it, chipotle oh, lime. Or chili lime chili from Costco lime, chicken. Yeah, pre-marinated chicken breasts. We're gonna throw those on the big green egg. Um, and yeah, Make are you gonna wrap salad. up your first video here? Yeah, what do I say? You know yes. what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah. I'm Jake. And this is Dude Ranch DIY. Like, comment, subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you here next time.